and uh, Charles Owen sponsored pony race. They race over one mile three furlongs and away they go. That's 2,200 meters in metric. And it's the nose banded runner of the Mumbler who's got a length advantage over Goldwell's Gucci in the diamond jacket. Then the pink colors of Roy Boy Green in third and a further length two on his outside, the Diablo jacket of Don't Tell Die. And then the red colors of Buddy's Girl in fifth. And then on her outside is Cullick Verona, the Stratford scorer at the tail of the field with three more behind her. And they are class act Annie, I go zooming off and the green colors of Tiny Dancer into George Case, who's ninth in the race course series. So the nine ponies head uphill and now um, go down the back straight here at Chepstow. And the Mumble has got a good two-length advantage of Goldwell's Gucci in second. Followed in third by Roy Boy Green, the pink colours, and then in fourth of Don't Tell Die. In fifth now is the black armlet of Class Act Annie under Jessica Llewellyn, who won at Haydock and Newton Abbott earlier this season. And then only on her third run race this season. And the other red colours are the white cap of Buddy's Girl and then Don't Tell Die in the Diablo jacket. And just behind in sixth position now is Class Act Annie. They're led on by Roy Boy Green on the inside. Don't Tell Die sandwiched between. Cudlick Verona in fourth. They're four wide here. And it's Roy Boy Green with the lead. In second position, Cudlick Verona. The Mumbler in third, the blue colours. The white sleeves are Don't Tell Die fourth. Fifth is the ridden along Class Act Annie and Jessica Llewellyn. Chased on by Buddy's Girl and William Bevan. The Barclay point to point winner is in about eighth position with Buddy's Girl behind. Then comes Tiny Dancer, and I go zooming off. Is certainly not zooming off this afternoon. They've got three and a half furlongs left to go, and Cudlick Verona, can she bounce back after scoring at Stratford? It looks like she may well be able to do just that. She goes two lengths clear of Roy Boy Green in second, ridden along the Mumbler on the rail, then Class Act Annie in third, and they head towards the final two and a half furlongs. It's Cudlick Verona and Harvey Poole, the youngest jockey in this race at 12. He had his first winner at Stratford. It looks like he's going to bounce back and have his second winner. He goes eight lengths clear of Roy Boy Green, and the Minty Bloss in second. The Mumbler still rallying, but finding it the ground hard work. And the red colours of Cudlick Verona is going clear of the others. And it is Cudlick Verona, 10 lengths clear of the pink colours of Roy Boy Green. And it is now going to be Cudlick Verona's second win of the season. And she just going, doesn't need to be ridden to the line. She's an easy winner in the Harvey Pool this afternoon. On the stands rail, it is in second, Roy Boy Green. Third, ridden to the line, Class Act Annie. The Mumbler follows behind. And I go zooming off, finishes last of the nine. First, number two, Cudlick Verona. Second, number ten. Third, number six, the fourth place pony, number eight. The full result of the Charles Owen Pony Race 2. First, number two, Cudlick Verona. Second, number ten, Roy Roy Green. Third, number six, class act Annie, the fourth place pony. Number eight, the mumbler. The distances were four and a half lengths and one and a half lengths. Four and a half lengths and one and a half lengths. 